Welcome to this week's edition of Tulsa High TV. I'm Kinsey Stout. And I'm Maddie Batson. This week we have information on two teams competing for titles, the military invading Topsail High, and the beginning of the winter sports season. But first, Pie Period is right around the corner. Taylor Rayleigh has our top story. After Thanksgiving break, the Pirate Intervention and Enrichment Period will return to the schedule. Pie Period will begin Monday, November 29th. Each class will be 10 minutes shorter with the 40-minute Pie Period in between first and second period. First period will be Monday, second Tuesday, third Wednesday, fourth on Thursdays, and Friday schedule will be back to normal. Pirate period is not optional. Students are expected to attend these enrichment periods. Free period students should head to the cafeteria. Pi will run until January 7th and see any administrator if you have any questions. For Topsail High TV, I'm Taylor Rayleigh. Thanks, Taylor. The Topsail High Electric Vehicle class, once again, showed why they are recognized as one of the best programs in the country. The class competed at the Northampton East Auto Team Rally this week and brought home five first place trophies and six second place awards. Included in those first place winnings was a first overall award. They have now won 127 trophies in 11 years of competition. And don't forget Mr. Garrett's class is still selling raffle tickets. Just $5 could win you an almost $3,000 Tempur-Pedic bed. The HOSA club also was a successful weekend at their competition. The club placed in the top 10 in every event they entered at the District 2 Championships. Three of the Topsail entries took first prize in their events. All 41 students who participated are now eligible to go to the state conference in March. That wraps up a pretty good week for HOSA as they also held blood drive on campus. All day Friday, Topsail students, teachers, and staff rolled up their sleeves and donated blood. Over 170 members of the Topsail family signed up for the event, making it one of the most successful in recent memory. Miss Wells, Allied Health students helped put on the drive. We will have more news after this quick word from the yearbook committee. Reason number one. Show your friends you were always a player. Knock knock. Who's there? Buy a baby ad. Buy a baby ad who? Reason number two. Show people it's possible to look that good in a diaper. Reason number three. Reason number four. <laughs> Reason number four. Find out what her real hair color is. Reason number five. See if your photo is worthy enough to end up on awkwardfamilyphotos.com. Reason number six. It may be your only picture in the yearbook. It may be! <laughs> Alright, I can't work with these amateurs, okay? I'm done. <laughs> Bye, baby ad. Last Monday was Military Career Day during all three lunches here at Topsail High. Recruiters from the Marines, Air Force, Army, and Navy were all on campus to speak with students about the opportunities in military. Students were able to pick up information from each branch and register for the military entrance exam. If you still want to register for that test, see Ms. France in room K106. The test is December 2nd. You must sign up by November 30th. The Warner Sports season gets underway this week. The boys and girls basketball teams take the court on Tuesday night. They each open the season versus Jones Senior High School. The Pirate Wrestlers start Saturday. They'll be at Dixon for the Bulldog Invitational. That wraps up this week's edition of Topsail High TV. Before we leave, congrats to Ms. Bird for being named the Topsail High Teacher of the Week. She was selected by last week's winner, Ms. Wells. Ms. Bird was chosen because of her positive contributions to Topsail High and her always positive personality. Have a great week, everyone. Enjoy Thanksgiving break, and we'll see you right back here next time at Topsail High TV.